So now we're uh, going to put on the needle positioning system. And this is what you're gonna have. You're gonna have the L bracket and this is the actual needle positioning system. And what you're gonna ha need is some of these um, um, fasteners and L wrench to put this on. And I showed you already on the video what you need. You are going to open the set screw and then you're going to put it right up here where the hand wheel is and then the L bracket is gonna actually go in a screw in there and it's gonna go in like maybe as much as so it will fit here and I'm gonna show you how and And here we go. L bracket screwed in. You have the, you tie the nuts right here. And here, you're gonna go ahead and press down. And that's how it's gonna be. This is gonna be exactly what it is right now. And then you're gonna go ahead and tie the set screw. Only one. And let me tell you why. We're gonna do only one because we're gonna adjust the machine with the motor, with this wire, going right to the back of the motor. And uh, I'm sure we showed you this before. You have, it's gonna go to the second one from the top. Turn on the motor, it's not plugged in, we'll come back when we plug it in. So, I, we plugged in. Turn on the motor. As you see, the wire, wire is hanging here. This is only a test. As soon as we see the machine is working and the needle position up and down is working, we're gonna go ahead and use the fastener to fasten the cable to the bottom of the sewing machine. So there is P, and on that P you have a dot for bottom right now. You see, there is a dot here that shows that means right now it's bottom. And now when you press, done, up. And this is up. Bottom, and then the other one, if you do it right now, you see the light LED lamp is on, that means bottom. That's neutral. And this one, up. So now we're gonna have it in the bottom position. We already have the needle in the need bottom position and we're gonna try and we're gonna tie it up. So here, another way that you could set this up is that you're gonna, when you're gonna have the needle all the way in a down position, in a down position, you're gonna turn this wheel, the, turn this wheel, hand wheel all the way down as well, hand wheel all the way down all the way down, you'll come here, you loosen both of screws, both, both of these two screws, and then you turn this bushing until you get that green. You turn this bushing till you get green, then you go ahead and tie both of the screws. This is the actual way that it tells you in the uh, paperwork as well. And then when you're done, you could try it. Now, when you show, the needle is gonna be in down position, but you must attach this with the fastener uh, to the body of the sewing machine. I'm gonna, we're gonna do it and we're gonna show you all the way down to the back of the motor. We're gonna come back and we'll show you how it's going or we're gonna do it right now. You know what, we're gonna just, so this is in the down position. You see, whenever we sew, Needle stays down, down. And now, if we go up, up, then we sew, it's gonna be up. You see the needle is up, up. Again, up. This is a new tech, by the way, for people that are just watching, new tech GC8B, cylinder bed walking sewing machine, or walking foot sewing machine.